Right now, it still remains Mitch Korn out in front. Jared Mueller close behind at 76,000 in chips. That's 9,000 behind Korn, who starts out with a couple of lucky sevens. 4,000. Korn raises to 4,000. 4,000. Honestly, I'm a little surprised that with all the experience in front of television and doing reality shows, we're not hearing more from... Uh, Rob Mariano there. I thought we'd probably get a little chatting and maybe he'd try to put some people on their heels, but he's been very quiet and very businesslike. The dome does funny things to you, John. And if you need explicit proof, watch those heart monitors and you will see otherwise very calm people like Mitch Korn. <laughs> exactly. Spiking up to 150 beats a minute. Nine Jack King. Korn seven still good. 10,000. And Labor looked like a guy who really didn't like his hand. Not so much he didn't like it. The instant fold. So Korn, as our chip leader, adding to his stack for him, heading in the right direction. We're still six players strong. This is what it looks like for our live studio audience. Checking it out, scoping it out from outside through the glass dome here. But inside, the players, they can see it between hands. They can see the audience. But once the cards start pl flying with speed poker, they are completely blocked out. Let's get to that leaderboard, and it is Mitch Korn, the 25-year-old out of South Bend, Indiana. He's been playing leader of the pack for most of the night. On the other extreme, Sandra Dano. She's going to have to make a move here coming up, Michael. She's right now approaching that critical list at just 14,000. Lines are one and two, so each orbit of the table represents a little less than a quarter of her stack. She can afford to sit maybe one more round. But, you know, if I were her and I looked down and saw a queen jack and nobody showed any strength in front of me, it's, it's time to gamble. So she makes a small raise of 4,000. They're suited. Actually, they're queen jack. It's a couple of calls here. So we go to the flop four-handed. Deuce. Ace. Five. Three jacks in this hand, so there's only one jack out there. Ten. It's damn. Does she have the courage? No. Everybody fearful of that ace. To the turn, a nine of spades. Delanois has picked up the nut flush draw. Might be worth a bet. Nobody's showing any strength. But he decides to check anyway. As does Dano. Someone needs to take a stab. Four on the river. How about this? Delanoise's king high is the best hand, and I think this is going to get checked down. Check. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Acted out of turn. <laughs> Delanoise goes ahead and checks anyway. He's not going to believe this. He's going to scrape a 17,000 chip pot for doing nothing. And he figured, why raise? Because if anybody calls me, I know I'm beat. You so. got it. Delanoise, you know. Oh, well, I got that one. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll take the 17,000 in chips. Well, think of it like this. If you're going to be in the Las Vegas area, you too can be sitting right here at the Poker Dome. Got to be part of our studio audience. Just log on to the MansionPoker.com homepage. Go to the Studio Audience button, and you can get tickets for a future MansionPoker.com. Poker Dome Challenge Show right here at the Poker Dome. We are located in historic downtown Las Vegas. Come and sit in the audience. You probably won't see what we just witnessed. A pot that was raised before the flop. Four players were willing to see the flop for a raise, and all four players were there at the end for the showdown. Very unusual. Very unusual, very passive, but Marlon Delanois said, I kind of liked it. <laughs> Didn't have to do much to get paid. Boy, that's the woman we'll be keeping our eye on her because she does have the target being the low chip stack. Now she's down to 10,000 chips. Mueller splashing the pot. <laughs> to the flop, two-handed, deuce, jack, eight. Mueller's ace still out in front. Check. Both players check. Eight on the turn. Mueller Four. needs to bet here, John. Can't give any more free cards. He does just that. And a 10 on the river catches both players. 
to be a problem for Korn. Boy, that's a terrible card for Korn, and that's the bingo card for Mueller. That's about the only way he's going to make anything. Well, they show the cards. Nice the pair of tens, the best with the ace kicker. So Korn takes a hit, and Mueller grabbing a decent sized pot there, and he will become the chip leader after oh, that. Yeah. You know, normally we always say the guys with big chip stacks try to avoid each other. That time, it was Clash of the Titans. Korn's actually lucky he didn't lose more. And Dano finally finds a hand. She's going to try to get her last 10,000 involved, and she will get looked up by Korn. No doubt about with that. With the jacks. The question is, is Mariano going to get in there cheap with his pair of threes? Right. Got to imagine this. Rob Mariano wants a sniff of this. But not now. Corn has re-raised. Dano made the, uh, the initial raise. Corn has re-raised. Mariano must know that his pair of threes are no good here. Time running out. Mariano gets timed out, so he does fold that one, whether he wanted to or not. But Dano is all in. This is would be a pretty classic coin flip situation, except unfortunately for Dano, Delanois already folded one of the kings, so she is less than 50-50 here. She's looking for one of the three aces or two kings left. Sandra Dano's tournament on the line with an 8-3-10 oh, flop. Great All flop spades. for her. Dano with the ace of spades has the nut flush draw. She picks up additional outs. Going to the river, she'll need a spade, an ace, or a king. No. She does not get it. Corn takes the pot. Good game. And that will be the elimination of our first player of the night. Sandra Dano bows out. The 42-year-old out of Bronson, Florida. She said her style of poker is conservative tonight. Conservative not helping her. So we have been knocked down to five players. Sandra Dano leaves as we continue action at the matchingpoker.com. Poker Dome Challenge.